we go now to a confrontation caught on camera. It all started after TVJ News went to investigate whether persons in the public transportation sector in Portmore St. Catherine were maintaining the COVID protocols. We observed several breaches, but not everyone was happy with the presence of our news team. Kelisha Williams has the details. What started out as an investigation into whether the public transport system is contributing to the COVID-19 spike turned into this. This maskless man walked into the frame and started hurling expletives at our videographer. But if you look closely, you would notice the maskless man who appeared to be a taxi operator was not the one being recorded. It started here, after TVJ News approached a group of taxi operators who terminated at the Portmore Mall. We wanted to know why they were still carrying four passengers when, according to the Disaster Risk Management Act amendments on August 11, they should be carrying three. The taxi men declined to appear on camera, but told us things are hard and they cannot survive with three passengers. In fact, one of the operators told us he has never heard of any taxi driver contracting the virus because they have been following the protocols. But another man who appeared to be a taxi operator in the background was not having it. <laughs> The man who turned out to be this person in the pink shirt continued to demand answers from our news team while walking to pick up passengers. Which is when the man in the white shirt who confronted our news team walked in. After about two minutes, the man in the white shirt was pulled away. But the confrontation speaks to the bigger picture of what is happening in the transportation sector. With no enforcement or monitoring of COVID-19 protocols, breaches are rampant. According to the Disaster Risk Management Act, persons operating motor vehicles, particularly those in the public transport system, should wear a mask when transporting and engaging with passengers. We asked passengers why they still travel with motorists who were clearly breaching the protocols. Yes, I do concern what I do have a vehicle for myself, so I just have to do. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.